Salutations everyone! I am so thrilled to be sharing with you my newest painting, Sanctum Aquarius. For those of you that have been following along on my channel, you'll recognize this as the painting of the sketch that we transferred from our sketchbook to the canvas. So for this painting, I did more of an a la prima style. I didn't do any underpainting, just a tiny little layer of gesso on the wood board. And for those who don't know, a la prima is when you try to get everything complete on the first layer. Which of course I did not only do one layer, but by I find that if I do the first layer as detailed and as, as close to the finished product as I can, I really shave off a lot of time um, and I'm able to get my painting done quicker which means I don't get bored of it as fast and I spend more time on making sure that I do the details right and I'm able to put more effort into my painting. I actually just yesterday packaged the finished product and sent it off to La Bodega Gallery because this painting is going to be exhibited in their Zodiac show next month. And I'm super thrilled. This is my first time having a painting in a gallery so far from me where I've had to ship it and I'm not actually there because I'm on the East Coast in La Bodega Gallery on the West Coast, but I'm really thrilled. It's a wonderful gallery. They do wonderful things for artists of all uh, advancements, so it's really wonderful. And I have other artist friends that will also be participating in the show, so if you're in the San Diego area, I highly, highly recommend checking out the Zodiac show um, opening August 11th which is a Saturday and I believe it's also the community art crawl. So definitely a good night to get out and see some really wonderful art. It was actually really bittersweet to finish a painting and then immediately frame it, package it and ship it off to possibly never see it again. I usually get to spend more time with my paintings and there's the possibility that she will be adopted and go to a wonderful new home. Um, so I made sure that I got my prints perfect before I allowed myself to ship her off. So prints will be available on my website. If you're interested in the original, please contact La Bodega Gallery. For the Zodiac prompt for this show, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I think a lot of people end up really using their Zodiac a lot, and I am a Taurus Gemini cusper, and I really just don't have a lot of experience with Aquarius, so I did a lot of research and made sure that I kind of expanded my knowledge on the mythology of Zodiac signs and wanted to really capture the beauty of something that was not necessarily what I identified with. But of course, how do you not identify with nature and water and finding a space that is peaceful for yourself? So it was really cool to find those similarities between a different sign and, and kind of bring that to life. I also wanted to make sure that this piece could be interpreted without any zodiac vibes. I wanted it to be a piece that you don't have to be an Aquarius to identify with it because I feel like a lot of people, and there's nothing wrong with it, but there's been a lot of recycling of the same imagery for zodiacs and 
I wanted to make sure that while this was specifically inspired by Aquarius, it could really speak to everyone. That I wanted there to be a undertone of self-care because I think that's something that a lot of people end up ignoring and self-care is really important. So I definitely wanted to do make sure that my piece wasn't so specific that only one of the zodiac signs could enjoy it. Um, I also really liked the element of witchery, which is something I try to put in all of my paintings because some, there's something about witchcraft that just really speaks to me. And I think her being almost like she's being brewed in a potion of the earth was a really big part of adding all of the flowers and the butterflies and all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Prints of this painting will be available on my website at WhitneyPageArt.com. And don't forget to make it out to La Bodega Gallery on August 11th for their Zodiac show. Um, it's going to be a great ton of fun. I wish I could make it. So some of y'all got to get there for me. All right. Love you.